Hello, Libra viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what acts they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Just whatever the cards want to say. The last reading I did, I was getting that you went through a very long healing process. And now you're finally getting to a point where you have love in front of you, where you have a secret admirer. You're, you're finally, I mean, you've been mostly having to focus on healing for a really long time. And now you're coming through this breakthrough and you're finally at this point where you're you're able to, you know, you're open to manifesting love now. You know, love is, is free to come in now, I feel. Could be coming in with the upcoming moon cycle as well. We got the moon, we have beauty, we have strength. So I got a secret admirer energy last reading I was doing. Longing and letting go reversed. Trapped. What's come what comes after trapped? Obedience. I think you're not being obedient to something anymore, which is good. Because we have like God, we have letting go reversed, so it's like you were holding on to something, like you were holding on to like having to fit into society or having to like belong somewhere. Maybe you're holding on to a certain person, like trying to make it work. You were holding on to like some kind of energy that was keeping you trapped. With obedience reverse though, you're not being obedient to that anymore though. You're, you're taking the blindfold off. You're, you're seeing what's in front of you, which makes a lot of sense, you know, seeing that we, we had like a really long healing process. So this is probably that breakthrough that you had where maybe you were, you know, holding on to a relationship that you just you knew deep down it wasn't going to happen or you knew deep down they were just not right for you anymore or maybe you were holding on to like an old way of thinking or being there was some kind of kind of stagnant energy that you were just really there was something that was keeping you trapped and tied up and blocked and you were just really holding on to it and I feel like you've either just released it or you're currently releasing it um and that might have just happened with like a recent moon cycle or might be, be happening soon with an upcoming moon cycle where you have just all this like cleansing, healing energy coming in and um, seeing the beauty in the world and, you know, being strong, being in your power, you know, reclaiming your life, really. Yeah, I might, might need to do soul retrieval as well. Yeah, you might need to do soul retrieval to get to that point that you want to be at. Yeah, to be able to use your intuition again, too. You need to get back in touch with your intuition. But overall, it's it's good energy. Is there anything else you want to say about this? Is there anything else you want to say? Yeah, being your true self. Individuality, summoning, reversed. Um, it's like you're just letting things happen naturally now. Yeah, meditation. Meditation is really important for you right now. Um... I'm like there's like a spiritual energy it's like you're really just you're reclaiming your life it's a really beautiful energy here it's it's good it's um yeah so i feel like that's like that breakthrough we we're talking about where you just kind of had to stand on your own and it seems like you just finally let go of whatever it was that's been holding you back so that's the reason you have love coming in now it's because that block is you've released that block, that, that last thing that was blocking you. It's like you did a lot of healing over the years, but there was like that one little thing, like that one person or that one event or that one um, belief system or pattern or that one thing that was still holding you back. And I feel like you've just released it or you're currently releasing it. And that's what's going to open your energy up for new love to finally come in for you. So I feel like your love life has been pretty stagnant. So it's like now you finally got some love coming in. Sorry, let me. There we go. Show me more about the secret admirer, please. Show me more about the secret admirer. Can we have someone that's watching you on social media and they're trying to, like, summon the courage and the strength to come in like the confidence but it's like they keep overthinking and overanalyzing and sabotaging it and it's possible too that you haven't met this person yet that you still need to clear up that final block and then this person is going to come in really quickly fast moving energy that's interesting um 
this person might be coming in really quickly once that block is removed. It might be like, like your guides have like already chosen this person for you. Like they already have someone in mind for you, like a soulmate or someone that you could be happy with. And it could be someone that's like on like, like social media that's kind of like watching you, or it could just be someone new that you haven't met yet, but it's kind of like, they're they're waiting to open the gates you know it's like your guides are waiting for you to it's almost like they're testing you in a way they're like can you let go of this like can we let go of this person this toxic eggs already so we can bring you new love like can you let go of this this clown already so we can bring your king into you or bring your queen in like you know for because for some of you it's a person that you've been holding on to and they're like can we can we move past this now like can we can we get can we do something like you you can do better than this like can we not go in circles anymore um whatever it was it could be a person or an event something that was just that you were holding on to that was blocking your love life but i feel like you've you've released it or you're currently releasing it and once you've really fully released that i think that's when this new love is is probably going to come in um I think it's going to come in quick too it's going to be really unexpected like i think you're just gonna like someone on social media is gonna like hit you up and you're gonna be like oh wow i didn't where did you come from you know like like confusion almost you know like you're not gonna expect it or like you're gonna meet someone like out in public and you're gonna be like what <laughs> Yeah, your pain might have made you afraid of commitment. Like maybe maybe something with um like maybe something with sex or maybe like wanting to keep things like in the shallow end or something like that. Like I feel like your pain made you have commitment issues and you didn't even realize that you had commitment issues. Like you would just kind of sabotage things, but you wouldn't even realize that you were doing it. You know, you just kind of thought that was natural. Yeah, someone's wanting to come in. Show me more about this person. Um show me uh, what is this? What do I want to ask? Um, tell me the story here. What is this connection going to look like with this new person that's wanting to come in? Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Yeah, someone... Like, you were settling for less than you deserve in the past, I feel. So, it's like, this person is going to... like this person is going to just notice your beauty and your mystery like that enchanting kind of energy they're going to like want to offer you something you know and your exes are probably going to have regret for letting you go at a certain point because you're going to come into your power more right now they just kind of see you as old reliable like they kind of they don't really respect you that much but i think in the future they're going to see you happy with someone else. They're going to see you having the kind of life and the kind of love that you want to manifest. Because you've been like, I feel like you've been really insecure in the past and you've tolerated a lot of like neglect and just a lot of negativity from people that you've dated. Um, like, and your guides really, really want you to set your standards higher. Like, don't let people borrow money from you. Don't let people talk down to you. Don't let people use you for sex. Don't let people um ghost you don't let people be mean to you you know what I mean like just you really need to set your boundaries higher um and I feel like once you let go of that energy that you've been holding on to that's when it's like your boundaries are going to be high, heightened because it's like you're going to have like that breakthrough you're going to have that epiphany like wow I don't ever want to feel like that again why did I think the ex was the one like this person treated me? It's like you put them on a pedestal and you're going to look back and you're going to be like, wow, why did I think that person was the one? They actually treated me like crap. Like this person was actually really narcissistic and really like they gaslit me or they were just really negative. Like, why did I think that they were the one? Like, you're going to like be baffled. You're going to your perspective is going to change. Like you're you're the kind of people that you're attracted to is going to change. And you're going to look back and you're going to be like, "Ooh, why was I ever attracted to those kind of people? You know, it's like you have this like this breakthrough coming in where it's like your pattern's really going to start changing more and more. Um, but yeah, that block needs to be released and you really need to, to raise your standards a lot and set strong boundaries and attract a better kind of person, you know. But I feel like I feel like, yeah, in the future, I feel like your exes are going to come around and apologize and they're going to have regret and they're going to be like, oh, you were the one like I should have realized it, blah, blah, blah. But you're not even going to be attracted to them anymore. Like you're not even going to want them when they come back around. You're just going to be over it. You're going to be like, ooh, that was gross energy. I don't know why I ever thought you were the one. 
Like growth is like when your exes are not even your type anymore. And that's what, that's what you're going to experience at some point sooner or later. And you're just going to be like, almost like embarrassed that you ever even wanted to date those kind of people, you know, like you're going to be embarrassed about the kind of stuff that you settled for in the past. Um, so it's like, yeah, I feel like you're going to have justice. Like you are going to have that apology and regret coming in at some point. It might be, it might be years later, but at some point, yeah, the person that you thought was the, was the one, I feel like they might actually end up apologizing at some point and trying to win you back. But, but by that point, I feel you being completely over it. Like, I don't think you're even going to be attracted to them anymore. I think that you're going to be happy with someone else. I think that your type will have changed. So it's like, you'll have that justice, but you just won't want them. Yeah, the divine is helping you through this energy. Show me the new person more, though. Show me the new person. Happiness, warmth, light. Leaving the past behind. Yeah, you had codependency in the past, but I feel like you're leaving that energy behind. But show me the new person more. Yeah, you're pausing and reflecting and kind of, you know... It's like you're going through like a transition, a breakthrough where you're you're not going to be the same, where you're going to have like, like I said, you're about to have, you're about to release what's been keeping you trapped and blocked and tied up. You're about to take that blindfold off. And like I said, you're just not going to want those kind of people that you used to date in the past anymore. Your, your pattern's really going to change here. Reconciliation. Spying, yeah. I feel like the love is going to be kind of unexpected because it's like you're just going to... It's it's like you're going to break that pattern and you're going to get to that point where you're not attracted. You might have like a period where you have to kind of like pause and reflect and rest, like a, like a down, like some downtime that you might be going through. But then I feel like, like when you're ending that pattern, it's like you're going to start being attracted to like a different type of person. But it's like once... You've been manifesting love for a while, so I feel like all those intentions are just going to manifest really quickly once this energy is cleared up. It's like you've been putting all that intention into the universe to manifest love, like praying for love, just, you know, envisioning what you want, like asking for it for probably months or years. Um, and it's, it's like that energy is like there, like that's still there. That intention is still out there in the universe. It's just been blocked, but it's almost like I see like a, like a cloud of this like energy that you've, that you've contains all your hopes and dreams and prayers for love and you've just had that little block that person or that that belief system or that um maybe like an attraction to emotionally unavailable people something that's been blocking you and you're you're current you're currently or you're going to be releasing that in the very near future i feel and when you do it's like that cloud is just gonna you know manifest physically it's like it's just gonna you know what i mean it's like that one little block that you have to remove now but when you do i feel like that love is just it's gonna come in you know, and I feel like it's going to be really unexpected. Like, I feel like this is going to be like a stranger you meet or it's going to be like someone on your social media that's been like watching you and they're going to like confess, like confess something like, hey, I've been kind of noticing you. Like, do you want to go have coffee with me? Um, someone who's going to offer you loyalty, uh, stability, vows. They might be kind of shy and afraid of rejection right now. And they might not even, they might be shy and afraid of rejection because maybe their guides are telling them, like in the 5D, maybe maybe your guides and theirs are telling them like, hey, it's not the right timing. This person needs to remove the blocks first. Otherwise, it won't work out. And that makes sense, too, if you're attracted to a certain type of person. This new person coming in might not be your usual type, and they don't want you to sabotage it or push it away or think it's too good to be true or, like, put them in the friend zone. Like, they want to make sure that you guys do this right. So... This person might be watching you and they might be kind of like shy and afraid to reach out. But maybe the reason that they're afraid to reach out is because they intuitively, without without consciously knowing it, they might intuitively sense that it's not the right timing yet until these blocks have been removed. Because your guides are kind of making them wait. Like they're impatient, but it's like they're making them wait because they want to make sure that when they come in that you guys do this right and that you really accept their love and that this actually goes somewhere, you know? Yeah, someone's gonna that's gonna be chasing you or wanting to chase you, I feel. Probably some miscommunication though. They might not, they just don't know if you have a chance, if they have a chance. They might think you're with someone, or they might think that they're just not your type. 
I just feel them coming in fast though, whether it's someone that's watching on social media or it's someone you're about to meet like out in public. I feel like a very, once the blocks are moved, I feel like it's gonna come in really fast. Yeah, probably a soulmate, I feel. You guys are both feeling alone, you know, and it's like you're gonna, you're gonna just understand each other and this could be a potential life partner. Could be a potential life partner here. Yeah, someone wanted to message, open honest communication message. Risk reward, someone putting you first, someone choosing love um, over fear, you know, making a bold gesture towards you. They're wanting to, and it's almost like, like they're, I feel like this person normally would just reach out and say, hey, do you want to have coffee? And they're like baffled as to, because there's two different stories here, okay? For, for some of you, this is someone that's watching you like on social media or like out in public somewhere, and they're like wanting to make a move but they can't and they don't know why they can't. And for others, this is someone that you're gonna meet out in public somewhere. And um, I feel like they usually are the type to like put themselves out there, like wear their heart on their sleeve, like say, hey, like, like they want love, you know what I mean? And like they know that they have to be outgoing and confident and step out of their comfort zone. And they're normally willing to do that. Like they're normally willing to like put themselves out there and like ask someone out. And it's almost like when they talk to you, it's like they can't find the words to say or like they see you on social media, but they don't know how to approach you or like they get distracted or something comes up when they start thinking about approaching you. And it's just, it's in, intuitive. It's like their soul is telling them it's not the right time and your guys and their guides are telling them like, wait one minute, like you have to wait if you come in right now. Like they want to, it's like, it's like almost like a horse, like behind the stable, like waiting for the gates to open and just, you know, come charging in. It's like... And it, that's kind of like the metaphor I get here where it's like they're wanting to come rushing in and they're baffled as to why they can't seem to get their words why, right, why they always feel like they can't talk to you or they feel like they don't know what to say to you or they always get distracted when they go to message you to get to know you. Like they, they always, something comes up, like they don't understand what's going on and it's just, you know, your guides and their guides are telling them like telepathically like, hey, you got to you gotta wait, like, the, you have to, this person, ha like, you have to, the viewer, you have to um, remove that block first, like, whatever has been holding you back, you gotta remove it, and you have to maybe, um, you know, it's up to you how long it takes. Well, I mean, it's, it's, healing is messy, you know, you never know how long it's gonna take, but it's like, you have to get to that point where you're going to accept this love, where you're going to be open to being treated well, and you're not gonna sabotage it or doubt it, or friend zone them or like not resonate with someone treating you well, you know, like you really need to not only cut out the energy that's been holding you back, but you also need to raise your standards so much higher and stick to those standards and, um, you know, have this, you know, develop a new pattern in your dating life. And I feel like once you start really doing those things, that's when your guides are going to say, okay, you go ahead and, and you can reach out now. It's time. Go ahead. You know what I mean? Like that's when they're gonna allow this person to, to pursue you, but they're making them wait now because you still have that block to clear up. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I do private readings as well. If you're interested, my email is below. I can look more in depth into this situation for you, whatever you wanna know about it. I use Pendulum, I use Oracle and Tarot cards, and I channel. Um, any donations are appreciated too, even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My PayPal and Cash App is below, and please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you for watching.